I bought my first video camera May 13th, 1998, and it's this May up May 13th coming up is the 21 year anniversary of me falling in love with film. And film has literally changed my life. It's most of the friends I know are from film, the things that I've learned about life and how to work in everyday interpersonal relationships is from film. Film has taught me so much. And one thing that I've learned is uh, I love making films with my friends and I also love teaching. Um, teaching for me is, it gives me a reason to learn more and, and do research and stuff like that. And so I came up with this idea that I'm gonna start on May 13th, uh, which will be a weekly like workshop and or, or gym film gym that I'm going to call leg day and leg day is where we get together and we do weekly challenge videos or sometimes challenge videos on the day and just work out our intuitive muscles so that way we could bring it to the workforce or to our personal projects and learn how to speak the language of film better so we could better articulate how we feel and think through the medium of film because we've been practicing speaking to each other and, and through film. Um, imagine sitting down and you had to like raise money to play piano, but you only could play piano if it was in sheet music. So you're showing the sheet music to investors and you're saying, this is gonna be a good song, just let me play it. And that's kind of what film has been for a long time. And what if you just wanna sit down at the piano and play? What if you just wanna jam or just see how that sounds? There's every medium of art, I've found out there's a media, in every medium of art, there's like a term or vocabulary for freestyling or improvising. And film doesn't have that. Film has improvisation in the acting of that moment. But like, what about when the shark breaks for Steven Spielberg when he's filming Jaws? His intuition that he had to use on the day, he kind of rewrote the film to not see the shark which made it scarier but it was his film intuition and knowing the language of film that allowed him to still say the same thing even though the shark's not working and that intuitive intuitive muscle is, i think is the weakest part of film in the because film's only been around for 130 years and in 130 years we haven't really seen what film could do when people are just jamming or freestyling or, or you know, stream of conscious or whatever it is. And so doing these time challenges and doing like, oh, okay, we only have an hour to do this. We only have, you know, a week to do this. Uh, those sorts of things do work out your intuitive muscles. And I just want to start like teaching that class and the workshop and throughout that teaching just the things that I've learned. And uh, there might be some guest teachers. I think they'll come down the road once I kind of figure out the format. But anyway, this May 13th, 2019, come to the Thunderdome to break the one and a half year fat famine of events here at the Thunderdome. This will be the new Thunderdome 2.0, and I'm really excited about it, but I'm also a little nervous. It's a little vulnerable because I haven't really seen this done, and that's kind of what the fourth wall was. So everyone that supported that and helped make fourth wall what it is and what it was I feel like this could be the new thing. Um, so, yeah, please attend. Also, be willing to just fail and fail with me and just let's flesh this out and figure out what this could be. Um, yeah, so May 13th, come. And also celebrate me buying my first camera. 